October 24th, select board meeting. Recording in progress. There you go. That makes it official. Um, welcome, everybody. Good Mark. Uh, let's see. Do we have any changes to the agenda for the public comments for somebody that isn't on the agenda? And M. Molden, Jim Jen Fire, Warden. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Now we got back, we got me. Boy, I can't imagine what you guys are here for. <laughs> you want to, I, 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 if you don't if you come up, we'll turn that around so that when folks are listening and recording, they can hear you. How about the table? Ryan, you want to come with them? Yeah. That's right. What we do, we do. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can push it the other way a little, right? Towards the middle of the table, so it's not in your face. What can we do? Well, um, I sent uh, out a couple emails, and I've spoken to Ron a couple times, and as I guess as you guys know, it's, we're due for a contract opener. For the uh, third, the third out of four years, um, and Ryan was talking, was thought it would be better to start any negotiations or open it up prior to um, your budget. Possibly would be helpful, oh, or possibly. you know, <laughs> so we uh, we we you know put that across, and um, you seem amicable to oh, it. Yeah. So yeah. I think that's that's where we're yeah we're at. To, See, so it's uh, you know, naturally nothing will start or any increases or whatever would start until June, but you'd have it on the books, and, right. yeah, right. because who knows, you know, sometimes it goes good, sometimes, okay. but uh, early is better. It seems I, I do this with a lot of them, it's a uh, hard one, the same thing, I said, it'll fall for yeah, yeah. well, it's just and and sometimes meetings just get really busy and people get jammed up in time, yeah, yeah. I mean, three months has gone by and we haven't gotten any folks. Yes, yeah. Not that we have any problems, just because we have a. Oh, yeah. Get to get well, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. We've gone through some fun with that whole bit. <laughs> we can get her yes. done, no. whatever it takes. That's pretty good. Cool. Cool. No, we can do that. So I guess, um, no, no issues, no discussion. Anybody got any problems starting a conversation now? No, I think before the budget is. Wonderful idea. Actually, the question is just how soon do they want the bad news? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't say get us through. I mean, that is true. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Right. Even through. Yeah. Sure. So, so we'll see. We'll figure out who's going to do it. They just reach out and set some time. Oh, it's almost November. How did I have it? Yeah. Yeah. And um, and then get Thanksgiving, but anyway, we'll just, just figure some time. Yes, yeah, probably going to gonna be just running around. So okay, so it would sort of be and easier to get. Seeing that like at the end of the work day was the best time. Yeah. 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 Okay, and if you know that you have days that are better, it's a better window's opportunity to just set the scene and let us know. Yeah, we can just lead time is good. Yeah, I can talk about yeah. that. But I don't know, you know, find some of it might reoccur. Family problems, but I don't have too too many. Okay. Yeah, so it's kind of hit or miss. Yeah, right. Okay. No problem. Good. We'll start talking. Okay. Well, yeah, let's know who we got and uh, I'll do yeah, you yeah, wrong. Yeah. Even yeah. Ron's part timer. Yeah. He's still checking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the same one. That was it. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, this whole week 15 court or everybody's changed. Everybody's leaving. It is, I lost three or four. Starting hard on the manager day. Yeah. We're all the way through. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, it. It. <laughs> well, <laughs> well at least here, I know you can't get much worse. Hard <laughs> yeah. Take care, everybody. I'm kidding. Thank you. They might be involved with this process, you know. I know. <laughs> Scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
and you've been encouraging them to look forward to hiring a new administrator. Uh, North County Park Welcome Sign Presentation. Come up, committee. Well, we're coming up, but nobody told us that we were doing a presentation. I've got this open like I'm at church, like it's the hill. Okay. <laughs> so when you see that we are now on hymn number three, let's say yeah. turn to number three in your hymn. <laughs> Well, I think here we are at the table. My name is Gail Porter. I'm Valerie Falkhorn. So both of us are on the uh, Guyon Valley Hall Committee. Uh, Val also on the planning committee. So we've been involved with looking at these designs and the whole pile of them was here. Did they take them back? I haven't seen them. Well, must I have. brought them down here, so they must have. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys got a chance to see them all. But there were many. There were 10 plus a couple of others on uh, like an 18 by 24 firm board front and back to uh, just display possibilities. Um, they came and did a, the sample group uh, was awarded the uh, grant for design. Um, and they did a really nice job coming up with designs. And then at one of the planning committee meetings, brought them, listened to a lot of feedback. Um, Justin took down all the notes, casual and formal, um, and then the sample group said that they would come back to the following month's meeting with some things narrowed down, which they did do. So they had them narrowed down to three possible designs based on the feedback. There was more feedback because we got those beforehand, and what you have in front of you is, I believe, the the final okay. selection. I don't know if you have the back of yeah, there. That. But that did come in an email to us, Justin. I don't know if these guys had a chance to see it. I am just it. There you go. Yeah. So somewhere along you had it. Basically the front bit is is dark <laughs> with uh, a graphic of uh, the guy on Valley Hall for lack of a better representative representative of the North High Park area. The things that we had asked for were perhaps the word village, just to make people think, oh, it's a village. Maybe they should drive a little slower or what have you. Um, and then the date of uh, of its charter or incorporation. So it was gonna be fairly simple. Folks liked color as opposed to just black and white. Uh, some, of the, this, uh, some of the color choices were not green on purpose because the sample group said there's an awful lot of signs in Vermont that are green. Yeah. Um, so that one made the cut. One that was on a kind of a slate blue made the cut. Um, and the other one was black and white graphic, I think. At any rate, the flip side of it was something like, you know, come again or please drive safely or what have you. And the back of the one that you see in front of you looks like wood grain. And when we talked with them, there was some thoughts about, well, wouldn't it be nice if this was wood, right? And then they said, no, you don't want wood. They can make a synthetic product look like wood better than wood, and it would last longer. So the flip side of that looks like wood grain, and it says, please drive safely. And the bottom has um, a silhouette of some trees that are green. So two different greens with a, you know, Two layers of evergreen graphic. Yeah, and the wood, the wood motif, if you will, gives a nod to North High Park's history. Yeah. Of being the mill. Yeah. Sorry. There we go. Oh, there we go. Yeah. I did see that. You, you did see that. that. Yeah, from the museum. Right. When <clears throat> I can tell you that this with the trees not green was one of the final thingies. And I don't think I was the only one who thought the white tree silhouette just made it look like the sign wasn't quite finished. Um, yes. So they, yeah, I would say, right. you yeah. know, <laughs> because the other one, the blue one, yeah. the blue one did have two shades of the trees colored in. Anyway, so for whatever it's worth, this is what the final product was that, it, that uh, everybody who was at that meeting Right, and so the reason for involving the Guyon Valley Hall in this process is the community engagement process that was required with the grant. 
So because it's in the neighborhood of North Hyde Park and the guy on hall being a natural place for people to gather, um, and certainly we've been trying to um, increase uh, membership, if you will, or, or engagement in the hall. So we wanted to have at least one of the public meetings at the hall. So, um, but we want to be clear that this is not a guy on Valley Hall grant. It's not a guy on Valley Hall project. It's a North Hyde Park. Project and the grant, as you know, was for sign design. Yeah, That's right. it. So now um, we need to find other grants. <laughs> but what we won't do is go back to the drawing board about signs. Right. 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 So, you know, right. that part's done. Right. That'll get set aside. Uh, but it has come up a couple of times that this has something to do with the committee. Uh, we're certainly really interested, but. It's not a committee thing. It's a North Hyde Park slash Hyde Park thing. And it all fits in with the, all the, the progress that's been happening in North Hyde Park since um, the 2016 sidewalk pilot, the uh, North Hyde Park Village designation, um, the broom grant the hall received, um, and the, the partnership with North Hyde Park and Eden with the, in Waterville with the bike pad safety. And now the... Um, the revitalization uh, bylaws um, municipal planning grant that's going on right now. So it's all sort of Close building state. blocks to build, um, revitalize, if you will, the, the North Hyde Park. Um, mm -hmm. And the gateway sign is just another, another step okay. stone to that. So. Do you think you have any ideas what the cost of this kind of They're supposed to, at the last planning commission meeting, uh, Samuel Group was gonna come back with uh, the estimates, yeah. yeah, yeah. And they, of course, said that when we get to the point of having the sign built, that they would like to be considered as yeah. one of the, yeah. one of the uh, contractors, so. <clears throat> so I don't know, is this, is this a, an action it item or? It doesn't say it's an action item. Yeah. Letting you know where we are yeah. in, in the steps. Okay, very good. And you know, wouldn't we be lucky if some grant opportunity that had a subheading of signage yeah. came our <laughs> way? Uh, right. We would certainly apply for it, sure. and with your good graces, yeah. look toward getting it done. Well, in the latest scoping, the bike has scoping grant that's that's underway. Maybe there'll be something oh, true. in there. Yeah. Well, you can once you get through those pieces, right? Okay, so that is Right. Yeah. Once you start to get some things over, we'll mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Sure. Anybody got any questions? No. Yeah. Okay. Great work. I know. Getting in there. Yeah. Okay. Do we, do we, do we, You're here for the next one. Turn our number. 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 Turn our and this we were prepared for. <laughs> same people, same introduction, same committee. And I know you've got that. Uh, you have that in front of you. And I think this is fairly fairly straightforward. It looks exactly like the one from last year. We, we seemed to manage well within that dollar figure for that type of category. You know, we didn't go over on repairs. We didn't go over on any of the other things. So the same amount of money looks like it would suit for this coming year. Do for revenues last year? I have no idea. That's not a uh, thing that we have. Oh, revenue for our thing? Or, yeah. okay. The yeah. piece that was going to come to the town is the 15, 6, 10 building rental income. Mm -hmm. and that's the one that I would say. I don't really have exactly an idea. Okay. There isn't something in the uh, general ledger for this most recent bit. I know $75 came in today because someone's rented it for this weekend. So as far as revenue into us is just in the neighborhood of $1,000. And that's out of our donation jar. We turned in $292 a month or so ago. And literally today, I just handed over eight hundred and fifteen dollars, and that is literally stuff out of the donation jar. Okay. Wow. Yeah, and we'll have we'll have that in the annual report. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Right. And and if you're wondering, like, 
where does $815 and $292 fit in a donation jar? Each time the hall is open, the jars are out there saying this is going toward yeah. um, renovations and repairs. And um, we've had line dancing so on the, yeah. the last many Friday nights. We're skipping this Friday and then it's gonna resume for three more before it gets to be too cold. Um, and that is a fee, if you will. Doesn't mean people can't put more in, in the jar, but the person who leads that gets a certain amount oh. and the other half is oh, in the yeah. donation bin, oh. right? And, and it's been well attended. It looks like it's been. Yeah, well right. So $500 of that money came directly from the line dancers. Absolutely. I also wanted to add that I'm this year, um, uh, although I'm relatively new to the committee, I am seeing people come to repeat events. Okay. Yeah. So to me, that's building community. Yeah, that's yeah, building, um, you know, people are finding value. And, and actually, we're getting people are asking, to host birthday parties right, and yeah. different right. things at the hall. So they're seeing as it as an asset. Yeah. You know, and we we didn't want this simple budget request to look like the type of thing that's going to go in the town report. So it didn't include all the yeah. things, yeah. right? But on the most recent Friday night of line dancing, we had the flyers for what was going to be happening the next night, and people were grabbing them right and left. And the folks that came to the Hootenanny, we had people asking, what's a Hootenanny? <laughs> you know, we had to look it up. But uh, it is what we think it is. You know, an informal <laughs> gathering of people with, with music, right? Uh, but we had people coming back for the Hootenanny yeah. that were there for Friday night's uh, line yeah. dancing. Great. It is working, exactly. And we put it in here if you were reading, like, you know, what did we spend some money on? Uh, we got some comfortable chairs. We're going to get more because there's a lot of uncomfortable chairs still there. Uh, anybody got any great idea for 115 year old folding wooden chairs? You know, this kind of thing like buy a chair, support your hall, whatever. Is there right? And they've been there since 1910. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, could you put cushions on them? But in any case, uh, they're not. Uh, they're a little hazardous. Yeah. Hazardous to yeah. 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 And they're hazardous to toddlers, and they have a mind of their own. They're able to hold it up and stack it against the wall, and if you look sideways at them, one will fall down and scare you to death. Uh, but we also put that one of the things that we spent money on was getting piano to right? And one of our events was a professional pianist who is uh, doing a 252 oh, yeah, yeah, right. now David Fuse. Yeah. So he's doing a was 251, but now it's 252 because Essex split right. off from oh. itself. So now there's 252 towns in Vermont. Um, and he came and played a couple of weekends ago, and we were number 42, I think. Oh. It was well attended. Yeah, it was very well attended. Oh. Yeah. So I mean it, it's getting there. Anyway, if you have questions about what the money looks like. Fire away. Oh, I think it's great. So if someone wanted to rent it for a birthday party, is it a donation or do you have it? That have goes to the town's building and facility oh, okay. use yeah. thing. And there's a document that we did not draft up, but it goes to any building. So if they gotcha. want to rent this space or whatever, yeah. exactly. So it turned like for a Hyde Park resident, it's $25 an hour or something like that. Um, and then, like if I said, gee, there's nothing going on at the hall this weekend, could I do something? Probably we would waive the fee sure. yeah. as my salary. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but you, you get it. So I mean, that you know, for for something like a celebration of life right. that happened a couple of weekends yeah. ago, we yeah. totally waived the fee. Yeah. There's no place in town. Yeah, exactly. If they can't use the fire station, either one of them, there's no place in town that anybody can hold anything. So uh, we, we've had a few things there where, so sorry, but we waived the fee. Yeah, yeah. How's, how's the parking going? Parking, well, yes. <laughs> funny you should say. Um, <laughs> The, no, I, seriously though, um, Manash has offered over and over again. JJ, right? So uh, uh, feel free to use the, the the mill. 
so far we have not had bad parking so that that lot got jammed up. Um, but until winter comes, the road that goes down to the swimming hole, that's got another lower level of a lot. Um, and then when the church is not in session, right? So anything except Sunday morning, people can park there as well. So, uh, um, and Dale procured some uh, safety cones, cones yeah. to help, you know, make the, the walking a little safer there. Mm -hmm. um, there has been comments from some folks who've asked about lighting, that it's getting dark now. Yeah. Um, and I, you know, and I do know that there's light pollution laws, and I'm not sure what the, I should know, but I don't know what the ordinance is for Hyde Park yet, but um, I do know that there are, you know, lightings that can help support safety without being too intrusive to neighbors. So, um, but those were one comment that I've gotten. Yeah, that's a good idea. It's not so much that they that they don't mind the walking. It's just the light. Get, get yeah, the light. light. There's one street light at Ferry Street. Right. Uh -huh. There's one literally at the hall, and then there's one up by a hundred C, literally in the corner. But there isn't like a row of street lights because um, there isn't a walking path. I wonder if we could talk to the village about that. No. Put some more lights up through there. Right. And then this is off topic completely, but if the road was a little narrower, right, to slow the traffic, then the walking would be safer. I think that that process is in play. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. good luck with that one. It's in play. <laughs> That's in play. That's in play. Yeah, right, exactly. and with the scoping, would that some of that come through with yeah to make biking walking safer? Yeah, but we stick a row of cones um, without blocking anybody's driveway. Just it, it's astounding. People when slow you down put a cone, cone yeah, yeah, next to the white line. <laughs> people slow right yeah. down. They really do. Yeah. Uh, it's almost as if it looks like the road is narrower or whatever. So if we put the cones right on the white line, people can walk on the inside of them. There's blue lights on top of them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, we appreciate your time. Yes, thank you. We really appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you. See you again in January? Or this is it? I don't know. Okay. So January. Yeah. Unless the board invites yeah. back. Right. If there were questions or yeah. or uh, suddenly like there's a big windfall. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <On> reverse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you would certainly come back if uh, you needed us to. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Okay. One of our favorite topics. Speed limit changes. Oh, we missed one on um, budget for LCPC. It's on the it was in the same line. line. Oh, um, but it doesn't have anything to do with us. Uh, I'm just going to summarize their request to increase and put their annual appropriation on a different formula. It's been flatlined for several years, about 1,800. Uh, the board, which is members from each of the towns, wanted to increase the municipal appropriations per year from 20 to 30, basically, uh, to build their reserves, which is about 1.5%. 30,000 is about 1.5% of their operating budget. And they want to have uh, three months of reserve cash and increases would be about $200 in the budget for next year, increasing by a couple hundred until they get close to 3000 in year four. So that's that's what you'll be seeing each year is about $200, $250 more per year as they uh, gradually ramp in that increase. I don't know what they're doing. In year five, the flat line it there, just keep going with a couple hundred dollars over here. The policy that you have for outside appropriations usually requires a uh, waiver of petition or a petition to increase their rates uh, or amount in the budget. This one's a little bit different since you're a member of the group. 
you know, the other agencies are nonprofits that they have to file 501c3 and give us their annual budget every year. And we have to make sure they're still functioning and not dissolved. This is you in the sense that we have sent two representatives to be part of the 20 member board that set this rate. Right. And it's an annual fee to participate. The only way that you can really get out of this is to get out of the county planning commission membership. Which we don't want which we generally want to do. <laughs> so I don't I don't know if this actually meet, even though they're listed on the last page with the other 20 outside agencies, right. it's more like it should be with the county tax. There's a small part of the budget that's county tax. It's more like that. But for some reason, it's on the last page. Not, not sure that it matters if we know that the policy doesn't apply. So it can stay there. Yeah. But it's just one of those things where we're not going to have them get a petition to contradict Dick, the $200 that the town voted, because yeah, the town representative voted for that $200 increase already. Yeah, but looking at there, if somebody was anti planning, they could say, we want to not give them or we want to reduce it. And technical, I mean, it leaving could. it there, people think that's an option. I suppose in reality it is, but it's like, oh, not really. It isn't. An yeah, no, we can, we can take, we can look at that list and make sure there's no others as well. Right. There's some that we're committed to multi year. There's we're members that we shouldn't probably have on right. that last page and put them with the county tax, which is really our membership piece, right? Which is different than appropriation. Yeah. All right. I'll look at that and okay. get that cleaned up a little. Okay. Okay. How can we go over bigger topics? That's it. That's it, yeah. <laughs> okay. I see we have more information about costs and things. Yeah, you asked for a sign cost, um, really preliminary number, but it gives you an idea that we simply don't have enough money in the budget, so you'd have to find another uh, source if you want to do a bunch in one year. Um, or phase it out over three or four years and increase your annual 3,000 to 6,000. Some Something has to happen to do that. Um, and I, I do remember this last time, we had a lot of roads in 2017 that were being looked at and the cost to do all those roads and get every road signed that was pared down. So some roads are not on that list. You know, a 300 foot road, like <clears throat> to three houses doesn't need two signs or you know it doesn't need any signage so those aren't there even though they're on the official town highway list they're not on the ordinance um if you can at least agree on the list of roads from the last meeting that i re-listed mm -hmm. just because it was a little confusing during the meeting about yeah. where you wanted right. to go um then at least we have a final list and then we won't talk about roads anymore we'll talk about the process I think that was the idea in the staff report was just, is this what you guys, you know? Yeah. So if that's agreeable, then yeah, then we can start picking at and asking for those speed studies. The other option, which I probably would, I don't know, maybe call the VLCT. I don't know what VLCT's attorneys will say is they could do the speed study and doubt the ordinance. The town attorney's opinion is more like a risk assessment to just putting up all the signs and continue to do speed studies and waiting for that five-year um, window to pass. Whether, Doing it all? Yeah, I mean, that's that, but we didn't, we want to necessarily recommend that because that's not what the statute seems to say, but then there's this little provision about the five-year window that if you don't have a traffic study, as long as the sign was in place for five years, you're good. Gotcha. So there's a little bit of a gray area and town attorney is just a little more conservative than that. So I think, the recommendation, even if you ask, would be get the speed studies done, do the ordinance, which I think leaves you with incremental action items. So let's say we had three or four speed studies ready to go, right. do those, yeah. right. and then wait for another three or four and do those, but yeah. keep the same list. Yeah. yeah. So at least you're making progress on the list and not holding all the roads hostage to a complete. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, we don't want to do that. Right. Well, and we don't we don't have time to to put all the signs up. Well, time and money. Things. Time and money. Right. So, it's, so it's like yeah. if we do it in groups and it cost wise and time wise would be yeah, you yeah. still might want to increase that three thousand. I think it's been that way for, yeah. forever, and the sign costs have not been that way forever <laughs> exactly. per unit. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. I think Mark does pretty good at picking the high priority signs for purchase and getting those up. Yeah. 
and I don't know if we have gaps in the system or whatever, but sometimes that 3000 just barely does replacement signs. Right. So then you're going to add new signs on top of that, which is going to increase replacement, <laughs> which increases in replacement in long term. And the yeah. near term, you end up doubling the cost of replacement and new. So maybe six thousand. If you actually got busy on this, you're talking about six or seven thousand. In those three or four roads added every year, probably. So you'd want to add more money. Whether this is the year to do that, probably because we have a few roads that have a lot more discussion than the other roads that y'all mm -hmm. kind of threw on last meeting. Right. <laughs> so, well, what we have is if you look, we've got the the Centerville Road is completed, two of them completed. Trotter Hill is completed. Garfield is completed. That's, uh, and we're waiting for Battle Row is in process of being reported on because we had that done during the summer. Okay. So we'll get, well, that'll be completed sometime soon. Soon. Okay. So I'd keep that on the completed list. You know, okay. that's not quite completed. So, and what about Ferry Street? Because there's a study pending for that too. Ferry Street, I do have, but the study's not done. Oh, okay. Yeah, the so produced, whatever. If you, the, do, if you look at uh, 14. We got three thousand in the budget right now. What's left we spent some? We just spent some today. Ryan felt about science today. So. And you got? Well, we spent some for the first battle row. Right? Yeah. 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 What's the status of Cleveland Corners Road? That he is requested, completed. Well, it's not completed, so it's not due. <laughs> I don't see if that's either way. Right. Yeah. Yeah, study pending means that the data is done, so, but reports not done. Yeah. No, it's pending for Cleveland Corners. How long did it take? Yeah, not this one. Study pending. Is one that we have to produce yeah, this study, yeah. whereas this one's produced. Okay. This one has nothing yet. Yeah. It has to be required. Okay. The data hasn't yeah, been asked for yet. How long does it take to get this done? Depending, I have data, but I haven't finished the report. Taking a while, I guess, since I know you're in charge of the weather and can control all those things. Well, <laughs> how, how many did you take? And it would be better to take one road and get that done. Do you have any idea what you might be? Well, definitely take one road and get done and go to the jump. To yeah. The road. Okay. Not going to snow until this summer. Well, I mean, you have a wish list and you can have the list of roads you want to get done. So if you can get done, you can get done. If you can't, you'll have to finish these first. Do a priority. Right. I have a question, Sue. So sure. Clarity. You said that uh, Trombley Hill Road complete, Centerville complete. Are those the roads that are completed? The study. Oh, the study. Okay. All right. That's all. <clears throat> yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Oh, right. I was looking at the papers, so it made sense. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. No, that's fine. Then this yeah. Is yeah, so we're just figuring out, and and again, if, if you see the paper, you'll see the battle road that is pending, but apparently it get the report done. So that does, and then you'll see there are a whole bunch of there are requested. Sometime next year, we will they will just did it. Yeah, no, that's the that's all. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Ron, find out. Let us know what what we have left for budget. What it what it um. What it looks like if it can come up with again some this year, yeah. this falling just mainly like he said just a wish list and say we want these done and don't spend all our money and 
Yeah, yeah, I think we're going, yeah. probably going to go over the money pretty fast. Oh, right, right, right. Part of this year's, but you know, and for him to order, he's got to have how many signs we want to order. It takes a couple of weeks to get them, so better to get a bunch, and then if the weather holds, he gets more of them up. Sort of my thought, and then if the weather's crummy, well, there you go. <laughs> Do we pick a road order? Like, yeah, I think that's probably the hat. Or... Yeah, I can number. <laughs> Yeah, we got thirteen hundred dollars left this year in signs with some kind of order that went in today. Or at least he was working on order. So that's practically speaking, probably pretty close to zero left in this budget year at $200 a sign. Even if he ordered a few signs, it's going to be $500 left or something for a couple of signs. Right. So if you wanted to accelerate it, you would look at either your highway budget and move some money around. Talk yeah, to Mark. There's, there's <laughs> some money that could be. Yeah, I mean, Mark and I just talked about that for two seconds about how much we need to get a bid out, a quote out for yeah. this winter. But uh, yeah, I mean, there, if you set the priorities of like the number one, two, three, four, at least one, two, three, four, probably, yeah. Yeah. then Mark and I can figure out the rest with okay. yeah. the timing on the ordinance is one thing, making sure the study is done and then Okay. The practical. You have two options. You could do like if you did Centerville Road and you did Trombley Hill Road first, you have four and four. So it looks right. like we're doing more, getting more roads done. Right. Whereas if yeah. you have Battle Road, there's that's a lot, a lot of money right there. But that maybe is the second option. Okay. Yeah. So would that be moving that 25 back up? Yes. Since there's been one of on top of the 25. So with that being said, the only battle will be you know, oh, to sure. jump that first part up. I would jump the first part up and it could end up going in the second part. I am not worried about being overloaded with four cases that we're going to lose on speeding by people getting speeding tickets. <laughs> you know, I think I think getting yeah, I, yeah. Putting it back to the what it was. Say, those that and center have been the most noticed. Right? Yeah. 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 Sorry yeah. So so if we did the uh, you're right. If, if we did that quick fix on on uh, Battle Road and then Toronto Hill and Centerville Road. But Centerville Road we're only talking four. four. But we're only talking by the fire station. Not by steeps, right? Because you're the gravel right. section. Yeah. The gravel section. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're not talking about that, or you are? Well, we are. But no. <laughs> the study's not completed. Maybe I, maybe I, maybe I, sort of. I thought we were able to talk in the Senate Road. That was. That's the fire station because that's the study that's complete. yeah. So what we're what we're going with is where the studies are completed, and Battle Road, while it says pending, but that report is about to come in, so that actually ends up being completed. Then the others you see where there's where things are pending, or we're going to request. So your area, the gravel area, is the studies requested. And with that requested, we obviously don't know when that will be done. Okay. No, they don't. They don't run the hoses in the winter unless we have a 
like two weeks of no plowing or something, okay. which is hard to do. So that's a spring and summer. Yeah, they yeah. usually shut that down. If, yeah. But do you think it's feasible to say that a lot of these studies will be done next summer or no? They usually do, they've been doing five plus or minus roads per year. And we would give them a wish list also. Yeah, I mean, we could potentially we could accelerate it with asking for outside help or another regional planning commission if you really want to say we want to finish this in 24 so there's one two three four five six seven eight you know ten right. roads that need to be done and we lcpc only has capacity for five can they help us get the other five done we can have that all requested and go ahead like that and see what happens um, they only need about 10 days plus or minus so it's not like it but it's yeah. but they're doing the whole county though so it's right our turn comes up they show up in the village this year i think they did a few yeah. roads and then they're off to the next town and sure. sometimes the readers get busted or taken apart and they have to stay there for another week to get to the good chunk of time so it's kind of variable but i'll see pc and who uh, uh, uh another county planning commission they'll wow. do that kind of service so you know, a private company too, but that's that's gets costly. Okay, so what we want to do? What was the what was the quick short term fix on Battle Row and on Trunkley Hill and Centerville with the fire station? That's what I would think. It gets. Two roads fully down. And Battle Road. Select mm -hmm. Road prioritized Battle Road Road, Center, Bill Road, Bath Fire Station, followed by Trombley Hill. Right. But the Battle Road is just changing the 25 back to 35. Right. Yeah. So that, that would be the first batch. What do you want to do? What would be the, I would think the next big project would be to take on Battle Road. Right, and Garvey Lake Road. Or Battle Road and North Lake Park Road. And Park Road. Park Road. Well, I'm just looking at the, what, where we have pending. Oh, what's uh, North Lake Park, sorry, I thought. That was Garfield. So sorry, Garfield would be the second. Garfield, yeah. And Garfield would only be the third. Oh, the right. Yeah. And Trombley Hill also is the second. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. Okay, that's it. Well, it says parentheses paved, so I'm like, wait, what's not paved? Because when it turns, that's not all paved. The, right, and then it goes to the top. Okay, but so, right, this one, you got this. The second is Battle Row and what were you doing? Exactly. And Garfield. Battle Road changing 25 to 35, and the Center Railroad by the fire station, then Trombley Hill, and then Garfield Road paved section. But that would be the next batch. Yeah, so sort of draw a line mm -hmm. after the first or after the fixed Battle Road. Mm -hmm. So you've got three at the first batch, then the second priorities. Mm -hmm. Let me see what comes in. So then the second priorities would be the rest of Battle Road. And Trombley Hill. Trombley Hill. You did Trombley Hill first. Right, Garfield. Garfield. Sorry, right, Garfield. Yeah. And then whatever studies come in, we'll go from there. Sure.
Select board will determine the order of operations after Garford Road pending completed speed studies. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Now that probably needs to magically be turned into a motion, right? <laughs> uh, no. No, okay. it's just administrative yeah. work. Okay. Yeah. Eventually, you have an emotion on the ordinance. Right. Oh, right. So the speed units as written probably is good enough for him to order the signs for the first batch. Well, and they learn this. That's what they got. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else on speed limits right now? How did you sign it? Was got the study start? They do them, right? They decide. No, uh, we're going to give them a wish list. No, no, no. Right? Oh. I guess I'm going to be that uh, I brought up the battle report in the center bill well before Battle Road issue came up in, in, in Noah. Well, the battle, battle Road has been coming for a long time. It, 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 it reached a boil with the change in the 25, but there's been constant concern about the, about the speed on it and what we can do to slow it down and what it's supposed to be at some time. That that's again why that would be not him. So uh and then I'll get out of here but as far as Senate Road goes, we're looking two years down the road in the best case scenario. Um, well, no, because they, 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 no, they get it done. And again, we'll, you know, we'll prioritize that so they get the study done. Once they do the study, it doesn't take them long to get the information back to us. But then we can, we can flip it right around. Because these, you know, lots of things you think of studies and you think of months and months, and it's not, it's really just waiting for them to get to us. And we let them know that this is a, you know, this is, Couple of these roads are high priority for us, who, so I think we could be who, able to get the study. I thought well, kind of planning oh. commission. Oh no, no. okay. Like, so, you know, I mean, you see you it. Have to to drive the roads and see what. No, but that's that. I, that's just right. You know, you see the the black things mm -hmm. the yeah. across the road. Yeah. those are the studies. So that's what has to be done, and they come out here. The number of cars. Here's what the speeds are. And and then again, they leave them out for what a week, maybe a week to ten days. Yeah, a week to ten days, and then and then again, because it's just all right in, right in that little box, they take it back and flip it around to the town fast. Yeah, that's so right. I, I think I think Steve's referring to what that's a data collection that we have to wait for because we don't have that equipment. Yeah, they produce a report pretty lengthy on each of those days, and then yeah. Then we have to summarize that into a report. That's the part that town staff does. And that's when the study is complete. And that's when you entertain the ordinance of that. Right, right. We all get that. So but I would I would think it is, of course, who knows what happened. Spend all the next summer for me. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> Spending all that. I would think it's perfectly reasonable to think by by summer fall. That should be done with getting the signs up. I mean, all things being. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I appreciate all the work the folks have put into it. I won't bite my feelings of disappointment that Santa Bell Road, the gravel portion with all the traffic he's had, uh, is off. Not yet, but. Uh, I do appreciate you folks hearing me out, and uh, hope I haven't too many of you off too badly. I do apologize if uh, I get you upset last <laughs> meeting, but I was realizing that I was putting, didn't think I was putting words in your mouth, but uh, this has just been a very concerning thing for me. Yeah, and, well. Uh, like I say, I want to hide my feelings. I'm disappointed that it, you know, isn't we, we, we couldn't have right. four signs up there uh, this fall. Right. Uh, well, I guess uh, uh, I spell my name, I guess. <laughs> nah, I don't think I can do it. 
Should we give them our wish list of the order who would like our robes to be studied in? Go slow and I'll write it down. Go slow. I'll, I'll write it down in an email to regional yeah. planning. Oh, so. I mean, I think we should do this section. We should suggest that section right. first, right? Yeah. Our first study. And then is the other big one Garfield Road? It's done. Garfield Cross. The one you want. Oh, I don't really. I mean, I drove. Not you, but 35. And it was, that was fast. Oh. Uh, so. I don't, but if you're going to sign with me, you can help. You can help with the other one, right? Yeah, yeah. the study is requested. Well, it's requested on Centerville, too. But we want to give them a oh, order, oh, right? Yeah, priority. Just priority. priority. Yeah. Centerville is absolutely the top. Yes. Correct. Yes, yes. Right. correct. And then cricket. I'm thinking cricket. Yeah. Yeah, just gonna, because that's. It is a <laughs> um maybe Sterling View. <laughs> Ain't nobody goes very passive through there. Or Ferry Street. Oh, that's Penny. That's Penny. North Bay Park Forever. Sorry, I think that's in America. There. Um, yeah, that should be free. So. Road. Put it this road. way: one has to be first, no, one has we're to we're be last. Right. Well, the Street. Yeah, got it. Mm -hmm. uh, I know. Does that make sense? Um, when we were at the rail trail, oh, <laughs> I forget. Which is an interaction, you know, both roads are sandwiching that rail trail. There's people that come across that little crossroad yeah. thingy. And I saw more than one car coming from the west that just was barreling towards Depot Street. I have no idea what the hurry was. Yeah. Because they had to stop at Depot Street. <clears throat> That's true. The rail, with the rail trail there. Yeah, there's lots of pedestrians and bikes yeah. and stuff. And I it's having it 50 going through there just did and they were doing that. That's oh, what I, that's what I was. <laughs> so it won't be much of signage, just one at the beginning. You can shut that down. The crossroad? Yeah. Why not? Yeah, it's okay. has been before. Yeah. I... It didn't used to be a road there. Yeah, they put it in for the dry yeah. bridge. Right? They put it into the dry bridge. Yeah. What's it's since... got a town highway number, which is very confusing. What's since it? Having it there, I don't know that how you it. Fishing, eh? You're more of people being on a real trail than that traffic flow, right? Right. Yeah. yeah, it's more of the no one is fifty on that little. I can tell you that. It's, it's more congested in that. It's <laughs> just a congestion yeah. question. I, I don't know. Since having that crossroad through there, it's actually it's actually a better way to. Come out for a seat to get out. To get over there and come down the lower Mori Road is way better visibility than Depot the Extension. Yeah. The Depot Street Extension has terrible sight line up there. It almost should be one way in and one way out if hmm. if there was going to be a change. I, no, I'm just saying from drive, trying to drive, I will go down to Mori Road across that crossroad to get better visibility. But one way would help too because you have traffic just going one way, but it's hard to regulate that too. I forgot Cleveland Corners now. Yeah, that probably needs something. Not really. I don't think you would. So I've got three so far. Do you want to ask? Then Cleveland Corners. Okay. Yeah. Running roads? No. No. But this little roads. Where do you call it? That dirt pan? Um, but then they're all little, so just uh, right off the, of the list. Yeah, they're little, you know. Okay, yeah. So just I would just say like Maury Sterling. Noise from noise. Yeah, there, that's just a correction. correction. Noise farm is just a correction. You could have done that one. And that's good. Mm -hmm. 
It's not your study though, it's a correction of your study. It, that means it's a correction to the sign, so it doesn't need a study. Is that what that means? Yeah, it's like 15 feet of 25 miles per hour. Yeah. That's all right. It's like just a correction that yeah. is in the ordinance. It's like a just trying to describe where the unknown village line was or something. I don't know why they did that, yeah, but so the whole road will be 35 when that's yeah. removed. 45, 45, 45. <laughs> Got it. Uh, so I guess like did I would just say more in Sterling and then cross them. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Cherry Street, where was that? Right. We need it's pending, so we gotta right, we gotta wait till we get then we'll probably add that to the second batch. Right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Okay. We got everything. We good. Okay. Our second favorite topic. Golf tennis. And sort of ties right in with the alley when you can take it for authorization to actually do that. Yep. <laughs> uh, let's see. So last week, and I haven't received any update this week from Allie, but she's still getting close to a final inspection of a movable office trailer, oh. 10 by 30, that would be retrofitted with the kennel inside. For winter, she'll need an electrician to run power to the construction thing, just like you would at a construction site. Yeah. And they cart in water and walk the dogs. They're there. Uh, I don't know what she found because she was bringing an electrician to go look at the, to yeah. see what the setup was inside to see if it was something that was too costly or workable. Uh, the county shelter, I haven't done much on that. I think. That needs some direction and uh, maybe steps discussed about what's next. And that's the long term one that needs multi town coordination, potentially buy in somehow to participate, uh, some kind of planning grant in that area, or, or you know, whether it's a private, there's a lot of private entities and nonprofits that love dogs and love to see kennels and shelters started. If you, if you take the shelter route, a lot more money than the boarding route. <laughs> so, you know, if you're talking about shelter, and especially if you're talking about shelter for multiple different animals that you might get, mostly like cats and birds and a temporary station for wild animals and while the game warden's coming, those kind of things. Some places are met, you know, designed to, to deal with all that from a county perspective, or you just say dogs only, you know, and that's another style. So you, somebody has to decide all that. Yeah, right and get get the cats herded on that including some kind of preliminary commitment on cost so uh, part of the one of the fema grants one of the first questions was to the select board does the town commit 25 percent of project costs if you know when the federal government pays 75 percent and that's the kind of mentality that you want to get oh we'll go to a few meetings and see what's going on you really i think if it's going to be a county thing, you so you really need that buy-in from early. It's going to be a lot of work, and you don't want a town to say, "Oh yeah, it was great six months listening and your progress," but we're really not going to participate with all those cost projections. So that was the update on the county. I, I don't know what your discussion is going to be. Um, Allie Judkins on the ticket booth is just something that Keith. Uh, has approval for never pursued alley would come in and sort of be the second person authorized along with the deputy sheriffs to issue tickets under the ordinance and they would have to participate online now uh, the court system's all through webex so you yeah. have to log in and defend your tickets that way versus drive to white river or wherever the judicial bureau bureau was located i think it would be like a, i didn't register my dog or Mostly it's yeah, mostly it's the roaming tickets because we, we pick, if we pick up a dog now, we've taken it to the Lobo Kennel, 
and people have to pay a $25 pickup fee for the expense of the ACO. It wasn't a fine, it was just like a surcharge along with the kennel fee. Here we haven't set fees for this temporary kennel, but the ticket would be generally issued with a second offense at least. You know, you'd get your warning and don't do it, please. I know the leash broke or the kid opened the door, whatever the reason was. And then the repetitive stuff is built into the ordinance where the fines increase each time within the 12 month period. And then it resets after no violations in the 12 month period. Ron? Yes. Um, can I just insert a little bit about the tickets? Um, so in the dog ordinance, isn't there a penalty for not registering your dog? Do you get a ticket? Can you get a ticket? I don't have the, the document in front of me. Can you get a ticket for not registering your dog? Let me look. Let's see if that. I know there's some things about. Well, and the, there's a whole list. Yeah. Yes. So the reason I'm asking these questions is if people, if our ACOs aren't writing tickets, people in town are saying, well, why should I, you know, follow the ordinance? There's no teeth to it. There's nobody going to come knock on my door and tell me to license my dog. Nobody going to come knock on my door and, you know, they, they'll, they'll tell me something and I can say, yeah, I'm going to do it. And then they don't. If they're not writing the ticket to like enforce that, the ordinance itself is kind of useless. So we really need for our ACOs, you know, to license to ticket people for whatever the ordinance allows. I think I've told you before COVID, we were licensing 550 dogs, and I think we're up to close to 400. We had four. 420 or something like that last year. Um, and we're up over 400, I think, again this year. But there's no teeth to the ordinance. So people aren't licensing their dog. And that's why I just thought of that. Is there is there a penalty for not licensing or can they get a ticket for that? Yes. The lit, there's specifically 10 items in the ordinance that are violations, defined as violations. Uh, no rabies, no license, not wearing a collar, um, running at large, causing damage, defecating on private property other than the owner, chasing, running, pedestrians, again, you know, joggers, those kind of things, uh, barking more than 20 minutes consecutive, and having a wolf hybrid that's not confined. So those are the top 10 hit list. Uh, first violation is $50, but you can pay it early uh, with a waiver of 25. So you have a $50 fine. If you blow off the waiver period, then that's where the enforcement starts to happen with the Judicial Bureau and the WebEx. And so you get the ticket plus you would have to register your dog if that was your ticket. Or uh, you get it. You get a ticket, and you tell the person to get the license or maybe whatever is the problem is. If they, if you, you do a follow up potentially in ten days, or you do a follow up in twenty days, and they still haven't done it, that's a second violation. Gotcha. That's seventy five dollars the second gotcha. time. You can do that over and over again, up to two hundred. If I have to be registered my dog, if I get the ticket, I'm paying the ticket, and I need to register right. my dog. Or I can keep that registered yeah. my dog. And keep getting a ticket. Yeah, you have an option, basically. Yeah. It's the paper Right. <laughs> I'm going to make a motion to let Ali write tickets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I, I think that's a good suggestion. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you, we yeah. have a list of who's registered, and it, you know, and it um, drops back and just to start. <clears throat> it's funny <laughs> that the list of dogs is lower than pre COVID when everybody had a dog during COVID. <laughs> it should be double. Well, right. Yeah. Right. Not long. But again, you know, well, let's get out of writing tickets and we're talking about it. You know, you could see people that add dogs, we could send them, and they aren't registered now, and just do sort of a, a letter to a lot of people saying, um, we're beginning to enforce. We don't have a ticket writer. Right. And if your dog isn't registered, you have to like scoring, and then we will, you know, right. be right. Issuing, issuing a. $25 ticket. Yeah. I'll second the motion. 
Okay. Yeah, could you, I think there's a motion that we use for Keith in your staff packet. You want me to read that? So I make a motion to approve Ali Jenkins as a custodial official for acquiring and issuing municipal tickets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> More discussion? Good. Okay. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. So our road commissioner, road foreman promotion. Um, want to do a quick executive session to talk about it? Well, let me just, I think just for process, we had a vote to approve the job description, right. which is for use. Right. Now, do you want to use it? So the, the action item is to promote uh, Mark French to the new job description, which has a dual title of for a uh, commissioner and slash foreman. So that can happen pending the um, letter of offer being drafted and signed by Susan. So you can sort of have a, um, and the only reason I'm suggesting that is that there's a, uh, a bunch of legal things that go into the letter of offer that we haven't updated for a long time. So we want to have that. It was in 2016, the town attorney was involved with Mark's original road foreman letter. Oh, okay. And things, you know, seven years later okay. already. And we probably should update that and okay. then issue it. So if, if the board wants to do the promotion to that new job description, you can vote that in open pending the legal review and Susan authorized to sign it for, to make it final. Okay. Right, rather than, and then we can, in executive session later, we can go talk about the terms of that to share with the town attorney to write into the letter. Okay. It's a summer process thing. Uh, the benefit of this is we could use the same kind of letter for the new town administrator or going forward with any new employees. Right. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So, so I guess what I just really need is a motion to authorize me to sign a new letter. So or more. I guess I thought we did the this last week, no, or last time? Just, it was we just, the just accepted being, the position. Just yes, the job description. Right. Now, technically, yes, Mark, and we got Mark wanting to do it. Now it's Mark, and now we need to issue the letter. But you had a, there was something that we were going to change on there, that the salary and an hour. Yes. You did. So we, can, we can talk about the training session. Okay. Yeah. 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 So it's all, it's all done what you discussed. But, but the, that was that was the job it, description only. But it had the yeah, it was it was all fixed from that draft because we didn't we got rid of the paid or the exempt. Oh, we did salary. get rid of that. That's right, we did get rid of it. So we, okay. So it's all the job description is final. Okay. As of October 10th. Okay. It needs to be referenced in a new letter of hire for the promotion change. Okay. And, and which, so which is what okay. Susan can be authorized to do pending legal. Okay. And the um, executive session session discussion later tonight. Okay. Got it. Okay. Then I will make a motion to approve the new job description. I mean, the letter of promotion. What am I? I don't remember. Letter of hire. Letter of hire. <laughs> well, I smile. I'm I'm hard to the job hire. Hire. You sign paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not too scared to say that. <laughs> Yeah, that for me. <laughs> Just in case. Okay. <laughs> so you're authorizing me to, to sign a letter of the letter of the new letter. Right. Pending Is legal. Right. Pending, well, legal. pending legal. Because right. we need to make sure it's yeah. good for Mark. Right. That's right. Doesn't mess anything up. Yeah. Okay. I'll second that. Okay. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? <laughs> Anybody abstaining? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Rolly, how did you vote? I didn't. Abstaining? Abstaining. Okay. But you, voted, you voted no in the job description, so how could you approve? Yeah. Right, is that what you're thinking? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what you're going to say. Right. 
I think so. And I, I think Otherwise, he'd be reapproving the job description, which doesn't make sense based on the last one. You okay, Mark? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to accept the letter when Susan gives it to him. Uh, oh, I still have a sign that. <laughs> that, 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 yeah, if, you, if we can skip to number 11 on that RFQ for stormwater. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, I did just email Mark today a summary of the responses that we got last week of, from five engineering firms. And somebody, some small group, I don't know if it's select, a couple of select board members and Mark um, that want to look at those uh, submittals, very similar to the yeah, FEMA the thing. Yeah, okay. Yep. And then make a recommendation to the full board. Or the other item is you could, it's, it's kind of a simple thing to do. You're looking at proposals on engineering services and you have to decide whether to have an interview or not is the main question based on those submittals. But the board can pre-approve Susan to enter into that three-year contract with a selected person without coming back to the board if you're comfortable with that. Or, which which might seem more logical, the committee goes away and brings the recommendation to an, the next meeting. Yeah, so, I would like to. Make so the and the only timing thing that Mark and I talked about was some of the work that we need to get done is a is fall work, and every week that goes by gets closer to winter, and they won't be able to do that work. So that was and in three weeks is your next meeting, which is a scheduling thing. Oh, okay. So if the I think so. I think that was if, right. If the committee, the subcommittee yeah. says, "Oh yeah, we got a recommendation," we can call. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's. Rather, I'd rather not wait three though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You want to talk after you solve Thursday, or will you be so frightened that we can't think? I'll probably be too frightened. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> By the time this is somebody else, Ryan about it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Looking at 60 people. Yeah. Uh, the professor sent me an email today. She got, he's invited WCAA. Yeah. Piano Five, Rock the Pens, Newspaper. Uh, okay. Do you know? They, you might not. Do you know? I had heard, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Brian. I had a lot of fair. So, so I got him from UPM, professor. Got in contact with me. There's a lot of people in Kenyon County supposedly that are very interested in what we were doing with our salt budget and what we're doing with the salting practices. So she asked if we would host this event and talk about and make stop running from people showing what it actually is because nobody really knows what it is, has never has been educated like it should have been. You know, salt running got a bad name from. Mm -hmm. Some chemicals that we mixed with it. No, we all burning. So she asked if I would speak about or show people what we're doing, our salt practices, and yeah, so it's like sixty people on the register right now. Coming sixty, pushing seventy people coming for Thursday. Uh, I think it was 20, 21 different communities coming. Wow, wow. Okay. Yeah. Food? Did you say food? Nothing. I don't know about food yet. Cookies. I know. I'm the guys are thinking we should do something up with this too big of a class. It's supposed to get over at 11. Oh. So I think there's going to be way too many people there that I don't think it's going to be over 11. Mm -hmm. I think there's going to be a lot. I've got Cargo, who we bought ourselves from. The manager came. <laughs> To see us a couple weeks ago, I asked her if she's driving out from Ohio for it. Wow. I've got Andy from Viking going to come up and do a celebration on a truck. So it, it'll be a really good event for a lot of people to learn. Thank you. There are a lot of a lot of knowledgeable people. What about like a bunch of like big box of Joe's from Duncan for coffee? Uh, she's going to bring coffee. Okay. Chris coming up from New going to bring coffee. Okay. Yeah. But, 
I don't know about smack, but I don't. But I do strongly feel it's going to go. Uh, yeah, I mean, if there's that many people, yeah. yeah. What time does it start? Nine. Nine. I know that. I pretty much get a bunch of donuts. I've been, I thinking I've been that. half a lot. Hey, you're serving lunch. Uh, no, no, no. The professor even. <laughs> right. Well, can you do something to do that? Yeah, check with her. She, she did bring a coffee. We had a bunch of them. Yeah. Don't get donuts in this area. Don't order at 3 p.m. the day before. 5 3 p.m. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. so yeah, if there's like one as you get. Well, let us know. Okay. Well, it's Tuesday, it's going to be Thursday, so you're going to be too far. Better tomorrow. It's going to be 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 tomorrow. The uh, select board applied and accepted a grant to the bike ped grant uh, to pick up where a 2016 I think it was streetscape and uh, stormwater study ended. Uh, they had a whole bunch of parts and pieces up there to do improvements on within Route 100 on pro private property on Ferry Street. It was more like a sort of like a master plan from 100C up to the river and then down to maybe Heath Road somewhere. But no one project was moved forward. So this study is specifically to decide what, if any project should move forward to construction. There's always two parts of that. One is the actual cost of the, of the improvement and then the maintenance of it. We don't really have any maintenance operations up there. Uh, that are specific to sidewalks or paths or anything. Uh, some places are well more, you know, more, more capable of doing those things. So that's a big consideration when we start to say build it and then don't forget about the maintenance part. So in this one, the consultant, once they get selected, will take it from there. It's really a state project, even though it's the town of, you know, Hyde Park that applied, it's really a state managed, state regulated, state designed, state approved, state funded kind of project. So I, I only say that because the selection of the engineering is still a recommendation to the state to enter into a contract with that company. For the rail trail studies, same exactly. So we kind of have two or three people look at all the responses, make a recommendation, and then the state says, okay, that sounds good, let's enter in a contract. And then the work will take 18 months, 24 months. And at the end of that will be a selected project to move to construction. Could be as simple, something as simple as widening Ferry Street or a shoulder to walking here from the post office to Heathrow. Could be more complex like a river shore path from the post office along the river to the bridge at 100 C. 
which is much more complicated with many properties and flood zones and all that other stuff, plus high maintenance costs. Um, or it could be something as simple as laying out a future sidewalk and acquiring the right of ways for all those things uh, and working with VTrans to figure out how to use Route 100 corridor. There used to be two sidewalks on both sides when Route 100 was dirt. And there are a lot of lumbering folks up there getting to the mills. It's all reversed now. Right. Favors the trash trucks to Coventry over the pedestrians. So that's what this study is all about. Um, it won't be much work after this consultant is selected because they run the study right. and they engage the community and they meet with Guyan Valley Hall Committee, residents of North Hyde Park, town in general. And a lot of times we'll bring those studies back to the planning commission or the select board of both, you know, at various stages as they come up with their approval. Again, with a focus on maintenance for your side of things, maybe they focus on the layout and benefits for the planning commission in the neighborhood. I'm not saying that everything has, has to be built all at once, but it can lay out priorities, you know, segment, segment one, segment two, when time and money permit it or desire to permit it, whatever, whatever the driving force is. So you don't need much, many people, uh, Valerie, who was here earlier, okay. wanted to be on the selection committee and Al Spitzer did. Okay. That'd be good to have one select board member. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Okay. Great. A couple meetings to look at everything and make a recommendation. Mm -hmm. So it should be pretty quick. Okay. So we'll just take care of that and come back with a recommendation. Do we need a motion to appoint me or not? Um, I would just make a note in the minutes that uh, Valerie Valcor and Al Spitzer and Chastity Bayons will be on the committee with town staff. I don't I don't think we have any other town staff other than town administrator that would work on this thing. <laughs> Everybody else seems to be preoccupied with finance or zoning or something. So. Yeah, something or, the, or, or the front office with the clerk stuff. So I don't, I don't, I don't see anybody else who want to be on the committee. Um, usually I get one planning commissioner. One of those seven folks would, would step forward with Valerie's on that. So maybe that settles that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, your your contract to hire somebody that's been approved by the state of Vermont will be in action back here at some point. Okay. So no pull over. No, I'm not playing. <laughs> <laughs> it's my box and the street lights. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Those are all the things that they're going to want to hear about. Right. Yeah. Exactly. I just wasn't sure what all that meant. I thought, well, all right, oh, I'm already here. I'm going to sure. hang out with us. Hang out. <laughs> yeah. Every, everything that you're already talking about. Well, it's all good. good. Appreciate the attention. Great. You deserve it. And a future side. Yeah. 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 So you don't have to eventually get one up there, right? One, one place to roll in the wheelchair. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to get the mail. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay. the finally, see you have. I will go get the mail. Anyway, yeah. thank you guys very thank much. You. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. Next, we need to town administrator. We need to appoint the search committee. So, obviously, Ann and Mark are a vital part of it. I'll certainly do it. And then anybody else that would like to do it. This is the courtesy to move to the Senate as fast as possible so we can vote to the end. That are interested in remaining interested. There we go. Cool. 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 Susan, I'm interested, and I know that Jen is interested as well. Okay, we got to get some limit on the spouse here because we're at the border. But okay, here yeah, we have Jen. Yeah. Oh, these are the yes. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And and who's your uh, Yeah. 
Thank you very much. Yes, and we're just a, a day. Thursday and the last day, we were talking once the last day, there's your address. Yeah, yeah, Thursday morning. Yep. So the applications that came in, they were all requested to um, audit tonight's meeting and send their thoughts or suggestions to me by Thursday morning as part of their getting to know Hyde Park uh, exercise. Oh, cool. So we'll see who does that. Um, yeah. One person dropped out when they got the request. Uh, Another person said, great, I'd love to do this for you guys and yeah. we'll, we'll be tuning in. Uh, so anyway, that's the, that's sort of going on in the background. So when that deadline comes, then that probably would be a good time to have whoever's on the committee meet and and come up with a plan, I guess, right. with, the, with the final number of candidates that are left by then. No, I want to do the candle stuff. Yeah, oh, that's right. Okay. Oh, hold on. Okay. 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 Uh, so, not, oh, no, no, okay. Yeah. Another one calling in. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and uh, Kim would like to be on it too. I don't see an app for that. Really? <laughs> uh, no, we haven't invented it yet. Um, uninsured motorist coverage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, something about that. Yeah. So it was, it was going from 250 to what? 10 million. It was reverse of that. We had 10 million several years ago. Oh, right. The board of the LCT <laughs> unnecessary. The driver is going to be protected by workers' comp. Let's lower it to 250,000. Right. The state financial regulation board reviewed that change recently. It said that the member towns should have been given the option to reduce to 250. So they're catching up with that it was an order from the state to VLCT to, to get documented sign off that the town agrees to 250. Okay. If you don't agree and you want to go back to the original one, then you tell VLCT we're going to go to that $10 million back to the original, to the original. for $400 plus or minus per year. It's only $400 difference. You get $10 million worth of coverage. It's just a super low risk. So they were trying to cut areas from the, their coverage documents that made sense. That was one place they cut. But they didn't get the permission of the towns to cut the benefit or coverage. Oh, but it's only $400 to us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, don't forget the 
when you do insurance risk assessment, it's based on the set, the risk. Oh, true. Yeah. <laughs> so you have the front line of workers comp and then you have the backup of the right. uninsured and they did all the math and well, right. Okay. You know, 20 million is probably $800, yeah. you know, that yeah. kind of thing. Gotcha, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do some things. <laughs> so called the LCT and they said they're getting mixed people. You know, 250 is fine. We wanted to go to 10 million. It's there's no consistency with the 200 towns that they write insurance for. Well, bigger towns. Yeah, I can see that. Said it was mostly um, for some reason police officers that are hit on the job by a renegade bank robber with stealing a car and running into them. And a lot of times there's a ele elevated claim because of that kind of situation or the risk is higher because of what they do for a job. Right. Running to the bank or doing an inspection, low, 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 low yeah. risk of anything really resulting in a substantial claim. Gotcha. But it's totally your choice. There's no, there's not, I didn't get a recommendation no, per se. I think the 250 is fine. Yeah, I do too. Do we need to make the motion? Yep. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a docu-sign form that uh, okay. you have to vote to pick one of those and then I'll file it. And you'll sign it? Yeah. Okay. So I'll motion to keep the 250,000 with it. Yes, I should have Ron sign the document to the state. Go ahead. The LCT. The LCT. Second. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Is Wade opposed? Is Wade abstaining? Okay. And your local agreement. So we have 222 towns signed that. <laughs> With interlocal functions, uh, Justin can fill in the blanks, but basically for its inception, we had um, it set up so that whenever a town joins, everybody takes a breath, we revisit the agreement, amend the letter of hire for the employee to include four town you're not working for four you know so everything's kind of current when you do these rapid changes like every three months adding somebody you're like we just lined up the planets and get five towns to call come you know at once that's not how it's working it's sort of <laughs> incrementally working what okay i mean we want 24 to, to 40 or, or 24 to 32 was sort of a goal from the beginning um, and now we're at the point where Berkshire and St. George have approved. Johnson seems to be getting closer, but they haven't voted. I think they're going to put it on the next agenda, and you guys are being asked tonight. So once all four towns vote to join together, then the interlocals awesome. amended I and agree. a new letter of hires issue. Okay. Even though we're in, we've got to vote to allow the next person. We did St. George, and right. now we have to do Berkshire. Yeah, to Berkshire. yeah we just, it, it's sort of clunky, I guess, but being awesome. new to this, it was like, awesome. why don't we go slow? At least we get a chance to revisit yeah. each, each time. If, yeah. And if it's all good, there's not much effort. Right. If we really messed up in the prior, we can try to fix it. Right. Okay. So Anything else, uh, Justin? No, nothing. No updates for me. Okay. I worked in Berkshire on October 16th. Just they hired me as an individual while we're working this out. Mm -hmm. And it's it's a town. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Some really complicated current use up there, but I'll learn a lot about it. Yeah, rapid right. fire. So yeah, I'm good to go. Great. Okay. Awesome. Well then yeah, there's a motion to Okay, yeah. So I will make a motion to approve. Berkshire, Vermont, to be added to our interlocal agreement and authorizing Susan to sign the amended agreement. I'll second it. Okay. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Right. Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. Errors and omissions. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. In that one, they um the Jones have subdivided and the acreage wasn't correct in the grand list. Gotcha. And they requested that it is correct. So we added the acreage, consulted with Matt Reed and CAI to confirm because we couldn't find a survey for their additional small parcel. But okay. we all came to the same agreement of 3.3 .3 acres for that. So that's the total change there. Don't remember what it says, but well, this is his. Thank you. Yep, so an increase of twelve thousand four hundred dollars for their land value. It goes from five hundred forty thousand five hundred to five fifty five five two nine hundred. And it says the reason is acreage adjustment per survey map and survey. It goes from thirteen point four six acres to twenty five point eight seven acres. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there's a good chance. Second. <laughs> you guess so. Okay. Exactly. I'll all the favor signify the same aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. Minutes. This one has uh signatures required by the second one first place on uh, this. I didn't see any questions on your minutes last time. No questions. Thanks for watching. You're welcome. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I figured out if you said any comments. Yeah. <laughs> like, now I know it's a little trick. Oh, oh, I'll make a motion to approve the 10 10 minutes. Is that what I'm going to make? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All in favor, signify or say aye. Uh, aye. Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Mm -hmm. I don't want to work with the same thing. Yeah. Right. We got that one. We need a little. Mm -hmm. Don't yes. believe. We have a little. We need a Brian. Oh, the cat. Oh, oh we need to reappoint him. We all got one. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I think. Can, do we talk about this or can I just? Sure, we talk about it if you want. <laughs> I said, we have to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> we may talk all we need. <laughs> right, well, thank you. Let's just, I'd like to just have Ryan be the fire warden again. Reappointed? Yes. You know, it's just a yearly thing. I'm going to be in the middle of the marriage. I know, it's not, that's not an annual thing. No, okay. It has an expiration though of 2022. Kim may know. Kim, are you still on? Yes, I'm here. The fire warren reappointment. Do you know how often that needs to be done? Or when it'll be due again after tonight? I isn't it five years? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But think about it, yeah, because I know. Okay, so then you can reappoint it in five years. I think I'll make that part of the motion. Okay. Yeah, great. Yeah. Great. Thank you, Kim. Okay, thanks, Kim. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. I see. Wow. Is this your family? Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Get them done. Make the minutes. Okay. The warrants. Oh, well, I'll make a motion to keep the warrants. And the account files. And the acres. 
policies. Yeah, man, she did amazing. Yeah, yeah. she did. <laughs> really nice <laughs> part. I mean, Dan is just. He is very cute. Just back on the fire warden for one second. Oh, yeah. The there is a email I have that from the state of Vermont. It's a dual approval. Oh, okay. So the state of Vermont issues the formal certificate for fire wardens under their program. I have an email that talks about the 2022 certificate for five years being approved from the state of Vermont. But it, so we need to not have a dual approval if it's already in effect. 22, it did expire. Okay. And the board applied for renewal. Oh, okay. So it's automatically for five years. Yeah. So it's not an annual thing. Yeah. Okay. You know, this is the. So we don't have to have five years in there. We just have to reappoint, right? No. It's, I have terminate this term on June 30th, 2027. Ryan signed it and the select board signed it. Oh, so we don't have to do anything. No, I think it did expire, but that's the that's the form that was submitted to the state with your signatures and Ryan's signature that went to mm -hmm. the state for approval. Right. The state issued right. a five-year thing right. running out in June 30, 2027. Right. So we, we didn't know what we already did. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's what I wanted. So don't, you don't, I don't want to confuse like a 23 appointment. Well, we already got a 22 appointment. You know, right. that can, yeah. No, okay. Yeah, so what I don't have is like an official nice certificate, which I think goes right to Ryan. Oh, uh, gotcha. right. Okay. I have, I have the action items, but I don't have that certificate. Yeah. So I'm missing that. So if we if we need to well, fix it, well, yeah, I don't think there's, any, there's no way for him to get out of it. He's in it to 27 anyway. So. His voice is all Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it'd be uh, like that never happened the last couple yes, years. Yes, I think we should make a note maybe in the minutes to responding to Kim's email saying that it expires in 2017. Okay. Right. So that, okay. that way we know. He has been reappointed. What does that mean? Yeah, you just <laughs> withdraw all your stuff. Withdraw all that. I never wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'll make a motion to approve the warrants and um, Jen's really great accounting policies and procedures policy. I have a second left. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstain? Okay. Any new? Doesn't belong in executive session. We got one new. We got one new. Okay. Assistant Fire Chief Brent Lanfear called this afternoon, uh, trying to schedule the annual North High Park Eden Fire Budget with the Eden Select Board. Tentative date is December fifth, which is a Tuesday at 7 p.m. at the North Hyde Park Fire Station. Next Tuesday? December. December 5th. December 5th. December 5th. December 5th. Yeah, we weren't sure one of the boards would be able to get together, so we put it <laughs> far enough away. Last year, we tried to do it last minute. It was really complicated it was, to get yeah. people to go, so we figured we'd tell him. Seven. Seven. Yeah, he he always hopes that a full board appears from both towns, and he tries to get his full board at the station too. He did not give me any clue what they're thinking. They're still working on their budget. Yeah, Edith took it last year. It's in we it there too. Oh. No, we yeah. Uh, did I take the notes? No, I was there. Oh, maybe two years ago. Maybe two years. I remember I had taken once. Yeah, I know Eden did it once. Oh, it, 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 it doesn't matter. They're, they're, <laughs> he, he, Brent, and the fire department folks try to get a decision done so they can stop thinking about what's going to the voters. Yeah. It's one of the few budgets that, that we sort of get a request for approval. Most of the other budgets that are presented, 
get batched for January discussion. But this okay. particular one, they like to know it's off the table, so to speak. On the same subject ish, <laughs> the, the fourth Tuesday of December is the day after Christmas. I'm wondering if you want to move that to the 19th. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that would mean we'd have a technical select so like meeting the 5th, the 12th, and the 19th. Correct. But then you get two weeks off. <laughs> or do we need to have two that month? If we're meeting with the Well, you can be in the midst of the oh, I know. This budget's on January. On January. You get three weeks on and three weeks off because the meetings on January 9th is your first meeting in January. I don't know. I don't know if that makes you feel any better. The uh, fire one is usually pretty brief. Yeah. It's like an hour. Yeah. And as long as you want to stay. Right. <laughs> because and people, then, they'll talk to midnight if you hang out in the parking lot. Right. <laughs> It'll be cold. Yeah. But by next, uh, let's see, if you did the 12th, if you go on the 19th, it's only a week in between. So not much pleasure in the couple yet. We we need the two meetings that, or condense one for the budget. We want to finish the budget by Christmas. So at some point, oh, right. at some point we need some work okay. to on the budget. So if we, if we let's meet three weeks in a row. I want to see your faces. Nice right. Christmas present. Yes. Let's just get it done. Right? <laughs> Are you going to be gone? No. You want to see us three weeks in a row, right? Yeah. <laughs> It was of me. <laughs> it would be done. Yeah. Let's mm -hmm. do it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big rush at the end. Oh, okay. Can we do a motion well, until okay, we'll 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 okay, so let's so we'll see. So the twenty sixth, the December twenty sixth select board meeting gets backed up to the nineteenth of December. So we'll have select board meetings. We've got the, we've got the fire station at, at, uh, on the 5th, and then we'll have the 12th and the 19th. For regular select board meetings. But then, you don't meet until the 9th of January. So <laughs> Way to think ahead, Justin. Yeah. Very good at Christmas shopping. It's very rare. When it comes to thinking, of, I was doing my schedule because the baby's due January 14th. So I did my schedule up until that oh, point. Thank you. Thank you. Third one done. <laughs> and done? And done. Oh, okay. And done. <laughs> that's, that's what she said. <laughs> Can't predict the future though, you know. Just a second yeah. for that motion. Okay. I will. Everyone's in favor, no one's against. You got it. 